so there is a lot of stuff to talk about today. Um, if you guys don't know, Tifu just sued Face Clan like a few days ago. Um, and there was a lot of stuff that went on to that. And so with that being said, I'm not gonna go too much into detail about stuff that are arbitrary or not important. But I'm gonna go into detail of what I think about the entire stuff. But if you guys want to know about the entire thing, just go to Twitter, go to Tifu's response. Go to Face Clan's response and you guys will know everything there. So with that being said, what is going on? It is Chill Life coming to you guys with a brand new video for today. So today I'm gonna talk like I said about Tifu suing Face Clan over a contract that he's not happy about. The first time he filed the lawsuit, it was said in the lawsuit that he was not happy about his contract that Face took 80% of his earnings and he only got to keep 20 matter of fact that contract is true and that really is a bad contract but phase um, apparently phase never really took any of his money up uh, except the from that one brand deal I don't really uh, I don't really know what it what brand deal it specifically was but they took um 60,000 from that which is the 20% of his earning which is fair you know especially if that um phase was the one who brought in that contract or that brand deal it's pretty fair so first off that is already debunked because he complained about face taking money and now he made it so he just said that and I can't snipe right now. And I still got him. So now he just said, okay, that's not um, the case. But face can, uh, he changed it to can take 80% of my money whenever they want to. Um, which is still sad. And I will, I understand why Tifu want to get out of the contract. Because um, knowing that any time face clan can take 80% of your earnings suck. But at the same time, face clan has never done that. And at first, they, he was trying to act like they did, which is proven to be false. Um, another one is in that um, lawsuit is that he said that FaZe forced him to drink underage, which is also proven to be false, considering that um, it was it was leaked by FaZe Banks that he actually drank underage so he wasn't being forced or anything like that. And there's another thing in the lawsuit that said that FaZe forced him to delete um, stunts for a video that made him that are really dangerous. But again, Ricky Banks debunked that too and said that he was the one who was forcing Adapt, forcing Gwit, forcing Temper into basically doing those stunts with him. And Banks showed proof of that in a video. Um, so after that, Tifu took a, a day? Tifu took a day to respond and he did. I mean, he did respond after like a day or two. So basically he took out the part where it said that FaZe forced him to do um, dangerous stunts and the alcohol thing. So he took that out, which is really weird because if it was about the contract, why do that to begin with? I know you're trying to get out of the contract, but they're... Um, Overall, there there um, is better way to uh, get out of the contract. The, the way he did it wasn't really his, the best way to get out of the contract. Especially considering the fact that these guys are his friends. So right now, the lawsuit was just pure, is just purely contract. Which is now understandable, but he should have made it like that to begin with. Um, so it's understandable now. Because it's all about the bad contract, right? So I understand that, but again, he should have he should have made it that way sooner or from the start, you know? And it's sad because it feels like he's just using everything he can to prove his point and to get out of the contract. It's being manipulative in a certain way. Again, um, with that being said, I do respect Tifu. Tifu is hella consistent and no matter what happens, I don't really think that it's gonna destroy his career. He's massive and he's good at what he does and if you're that good at what you do, your career might be tarnished but it's not gonna be completely destroyed. And with that being said, it still can be recovered. So apparently FaZe, after this, um, he was complaining that I can't do anything there, bro. So, um, I understand why he doesn't want to be in the contract anymore, but, um, apparently FaZe said that he was presented revised contract from FaZe themselves, and he wasn't complying. Not just complying, sometimes he wasn't even replying or responding to FaZe's message about it. Um, get the frick out of here. Overall, he didn't want to sign it, 
even though the splits were like fair the new contract states that the cut is 80 20 80 to him and 20 to phase on brand deals um i don't know about earnings on twitch and but cbass said that they're not taking anything from him and there was a version of the contract that said that Tifu gets to um, keep 100% of his earnings, but Tifu still didn't want to sign. So it became hella iffy. Like, why wouldn't you want to sign that? Um, it basically has anything, everything that you want in a contract. Why won't you sign that? So apparently it came out. Um, it, it was leaked by his own brother that he just wants to create his own organization which is to me is backstabbing because like so that means everything he said was manipulative from because he also stated in his response video in his short response video that he wants to stand up for the entire esports community who are being taken advantage of a apparently that's all bullshit and apparently that's all bullcrap and he just wants to get out of the contract and make his new team the hell off me of course um the opinions are split like some people are on face clan mainly people suck bro i know some people are on face clan side and some people are on tifu side uh, considering how big tifu is and considering how loyal face clan's fans are yeah i understand so some fortnite youtubers did um, make a video on this and said that some of them said that face clan was the one who was being manipulative um when they did the response video on twitter when Bass and trink was the one who's talking they showed contracts but some of it were blurry i have a few responses to that first off um a contract has a lot of things in it and some of the things that are in the contract are probably not really related to the freaking incident uh, they wanted to highlight what they were talking about so if you guys wanted to watch that video i'll put it in the description down below together with tfu's response so when cbass was talking he was showing screenshots of the uh, contract and most of it was blurry but the the point he was trying to make um 80 percent on tfu and 20 percent on phase on brand deals so it looks okay but uh, some fortnite youtubers are saying oh why do you blur out some of the parts like what the hell is that so they probably blurred it out because like i said it's some of the points aren't related to the points that they're trying to make so there's that but it can be manipulative too i don't know i love face clan but i'm trying not to be biased uh, again i'm trying to see why it was blurry again um that might be the case but at the same oh my god get the hell off me but again i i'm not gonna lie they would have they could have handled it better or they could have just they could have just put a red circle or a red line to the part that they're trying to articulate again i understand why people uh why people all say that it's kind of manipulative to blur it out but again what if you did come on bro that's nothing compared to how he how he made up stories at least to further justify his point and another thing is phase said that on top of the contract being fair they're trying to give Tifu um a million dollar bonus on top of what he earns a million dollar a year which is crazy i wish i got that and a lot of people are saying well where was that in the contract because they apparently they didn't show it they should have showed it i'm dead dog oh i got saved <laughs> um first off yeah that's on phase clan's part phase sh could have showed that and should have showed that i understand that one that part was a little bit iffy but i do believe in phase that they were really trying to they were trying to give tfu that contract unless tfu denies it himself in that case tfu does have the right to def deny that because phase didn't have proof unless phase comes out with the proof of the him being offered a million dollar salary on his contract or maybe they just put it on the text because they did they did show text messages a lot of text messages between the two because like i said these guys are friends so maybe there's that i don't know i'm just trying to look at possibilities for all sides here so yeah um there might be that but at the same time there is a possibility that they're both being manipulative be that as it may i'm just trying to make sense of what happened with that being said tfu manipulated people first with the drinking stuff and the contract and saying that phase is actually taking money from him which is phase isn't and it turns out that he 
all his problem was just in the contract and it turns out that's not even the case he just wants to get out of the contract because he's trying to build his own org overall um i kind of feel sad i might not watch t uh fortnite youtubers or streamers or content creators but tfu was the one that i respected the most because i don't know i just i thought he was cool and i'm not i'm not saying that i respect him any less as a as someone who made it this uh someone who accomplished someone he did this early i respect it and i still believe that it's true that face tried to send him a million dollars or face tried to negotiate a million dollar deal with him i still believe that it's true because banks isn't one to lie i know a lot of people are gonna say how do you know that you don't even know ricky in real life well you know when someone is a liar or not What the hell are these guys doing? Jesus Christ. So yeah, um, what do you guys think about that? Uh, overall, I think that... I don't know, Tfue was being manipulated from the get-go. As much as I respect Tfue, I can't just say that I understand his point. Like, I understand some of it, but he should have just made his intentions clear from the beginning. But at the same time, of course, FaZe Clan wouldn't allow him to, like, leave the contract before the three years that he signed was over because, because he was trying to build an organization that's gonna rival face clan like that doesn't make sense you signed the contract no matter how bad it is you signed the contract and you have to live with it and considering the fact that phase was trying to make a better contract for him that already proves to me that he doesn't want to sign with the phase in uh himself because he was trying to like say f the contract i want to get out of here like no matter how good the contract is like for me the best action he could have done is take the contract that was revised finish the years that he owed face clan that he signed he should be man enough to take the responsibility and just build his own organization after that gaming is not gonna die matter of fact gaming the gaming community is just evolving from now and he could have just said he could have just used face clan as um a way to build his name more i know he's bigger than face clan now but like face clan was the one who started him up it really sucks and uh, they live literally close to each other like banks lives a block from him or something like that like dude banks was your friend talk to him in person like it's crazy banks was saying that over and over like if you have a problem talk to me why make it public you know so tfue's response video i am not buying that like it sounded so fake i'm sorry tfue i respect you you're awesome but like damn bro like that i hate be i hate like backstabbing i really hate it and that's what it seems like it's looking as so yeah um tell me your opinions in the comments down below i'm gonna link tfue's response and face clan's response on everything and if you want to know more about that watch drama alert Kavos. PewDiePie talked about it and just overall just look on Twitter all right so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed please leave a like subscribe if you're new because most of the people who were watching my videos like 90% or more actually isn't subscribed to me so if you guys want to subscribe you'll I will really appreciate it if not I do appreciate your guys' time to watch the video and don't feel obliged to subscribe if you don't want to so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I still respect TFU and I love FaZe Clan since even before the FaZe House. Stay awesome. Peace out. Have a blessed day, everyone. And yeah, see you guys.